So the next case is a term baby born by vaginal delivery to a gravida four mother. There was prolonged rupture of membranes for 24 hours. Group B streptococcus screen was negative and no evidence of chorioamnionitis. The baby weighed 3.6 kilos, was with the mother, and was noted to be grunting and not keen to feed. Temperature was on the lower side. Baby had cold periphery, so it was transferred to the NICU. Subsis screen showed a high CRP of 56 and a raised white cell count. Chest X-ray was suggestive of congenital pneumonia. So congenital pneumonia is mostly due to maternal infection that is ascending infection in the vaginal tract and it presents within the first 48 hours, sometimes up to 72 hours of life. You may also have pneumonia from ventilator related infections as a complication of a hospital stay. Nosocomial infection is usually associated with VAP. And uh, aspiration pneumonia, either liker, meconium, or uh, aspiration due to reflux may lead to a pneumonia process. So the X-ray of uh, congenital pneumonia may show patchy changes in the lungs, or it may be a generalized change. If there is aspiration, you typically get it in the uh, right upper or lower zones, depending on the position of the baby. Pulmonary hemorrhage is uh, not a common condition, but it can be catastrophic, and the baby may present with sudden collapse. There may be hemorrhagic pulmonary edema with pink secretions, often related to pit and ductus arteriosus. The chest radiographs are non-specific in appearance and commonly demonstrate patchy infiltrates, although the appearance can be normal in the initial stages. So you can't go with X-ray picture. Usually, if there is just pink frothy secretions in the mouth, it may be PDA related, but if there is frank blood, it's more severe. The growth restricted babies, the severely growth restricted babies are at risk and uh, Surfactant treatment, if you use more than the first dose, there is a higher chance of pulmonary bleed as well. So we should be cautious in deciding to use a second dose in growth-restricted babies.